like deja vu. I remember three years ago with the Military Commissions Act and uh, other announcements that were made, executive orders, where they came out and said the Pentagon will kill U.S. citizens without trial or arrest. The Pentagon will arrest you, torture you, take you to a gulag. Now, the bill and the accompanying executive orders said in them that U.S. citizens are exempt unless they say you're, quote, fighting the U.S. That means the banksters that run our military and have taken control of our country. And Ron Paul came out and exposed it, and top lawyers on the left and right did, and the ACLU did, and still they said, no, it's ridiculous. And now they're killing, quote, American-born members of al-Qaeda, no judge, no jury, no trial, setting that precedent, saying, oh, yes, of course. Kind of like they said 10 years ago, the Patriot Act will never be used against citizens, and it can't be. And, of course, I won the Project Censored Award for writing an analysis of it. I said, but it says it can't be used on citizens except for Section 802 for any misdemeanor. Jaywalking, you have no constitution. Now you see cops putting tracker systems on cars without warrants, pulling you over, grabbing your cell phone, downloading the contents, arresting people for videotaping them in public, beating people's heads in. And they're told, oh, we can do this now, the Patriot Act. So it's an even more egregious story that when you know this stuff's happening and they're now trying to codify it in law and expand it and say that Northcom can operate on every street corner in America, the new military system they've set up, that they send out their disinformation operatives in media within minutes of our article going up three days ago on Infowars.com about this, there were trolls already on there quoting the section saying we were liars. The section says, oh, you've got all these rights, but then later it says, but we take them away. It's kind of like the UN Declaration of Human Rights. It's got you know, 29 great rights and liberties until the last two articles say, unless we want to say null and void. It's the fine print. Now, continuing here, here's the new story, top story tonight. Yes, Americans will be targeted as terrorists under the NDAA. Paul Watson and Alex Jones, Republican Congress Amish, again, Republican Congressman Amish, warns that bill can be applied to U.S. citizens. And he went on telling the Grand Rapids Press that the bill is written to, quote, be carefully crafted to mislead the public. You've got Ron Paul coming out saying it affects citizens. You've got the ACLU. Uh, you've got Republican Congressman Justin Amish. You've got all of these people coming out. And I'll guarantee you, because I haven't even looked, but it's in our other articles. You go read the trolls in here. They're going to be denying this is happening. And you know when trolls show up in minutes with sections of the lengthy bill to deceive people, the bill I have right here, to manipulate them and say, oh, Patriot Act's not going to affect you. Don't listen. Oh, this isn't going to affect you. Oh, we're not listening to you without warrants. Remember Bush five years ago? Now they're just like, yeah, we listen to everything without warrants. They've got Marines running checkpoints in California and Alabama. But it's okay. They're looking for drunks. They've got Army doing it all over the country. I've covered it in the last four years. Homeland Security, as I warned you. And you can see another one of the good congressman's quotes there, hopefully in burgeoning Ron Paul. He says, it's one of the most anti-liberty pieces of legislation of our lifetime. Uh, that puts it lightly, but, but here's what I'm going to explain. People are like, it's Obama. He wants to be a dictator. Obama is a globalist puppet teleprompter reader, just like Bush. Clinton, Bush, Obama, it's all the same. They've been getting the military ready for this. They've been quietly getting them trained with the local police. They've been quietly punching holes in posse comitatus for the planned economic implosion that Europe is going through being carried out here. Okay, so you can go read our articles. You can go read where we break down where they say citizens are exempt, but then the government strips you of your citizenship extrajudicially. And we've got all the subsections in there. Uh, our article was linked on Drudge this morning. The first article we put out, Senate moves to allow military to intern Americans without trial. Uh, and the uh, commenters just went absolutely wild. And here's the key. This is all happening. The truth will all come out later. The trolls, the paid globalists, the Pentagon operatives on record are in overdrive right now because they're trying to pass this bill this week.
Kind of like they passed legislation saying TSA is above the law and could fondle your children's genitals, like uh, Sandusky or something, but get away with it. They are trying to codify that NORTHCOM over the U.S., like AFRICOM, CENTCOM, we are a military zone, that they can use them against you. And I've been to the drills with the troops trying to confiscate your guns. You've seen my police state films. And uh, my last police state film, we interviewed the colonel where they admitted they were training in Arcadia, Iowa to take over and confiscate all the guns door to door. And then I was the bad guy for not wanting that. This is for America. Now, here's another one out of the New American magazine. Senate bill to okay indefinite detention of U.S. citizens without charge or trial. And again, we all go over the subsections in here. Now, that said, remember, we were going to burn the American flag, get rid of the Constitution and Bill of Rights, butcher our republic because al-Qaeda was so scary. They had beards, they had brown skin, and even worse, they had turbans on their heads. Didn't matter that al-Qaeda had been created by the CIA or used to go after the Serbs. Didn't matter if they used them against Iran the last few years. Didn't matter if they were funded out of Saudi Arabia by the U.S., Israel, Pakistan, and others, as well as England. Didn't matter. We had to give our rights up because the evil terrorist. Oh, but we got the internal Homeland Security and MIAC reports where it said it's all about libertarians, gun owners, returning veterans. Then we learned in the New York Times that they've got the Explorer Scouts for at least four years training to take on disgruntled vets and kill them. They even say it in the newspaper like it's good. None of the trainings for Al-Qaeda. Because Al-Qaeda are good little helpers. They take the blame for stuff. They invade countries, they're told to. And when they attack the Serbs, the Serbs fight back, they bomb them into submission. They send them in against Gaddafi. They're murdering people in mass still. It's all over the news. Al-Qaeda flags everywhere. The leader of the main council, the leader of the military council, they're all Al-Qaeda. And now they're saying they're going into Syria. Here's the articles, London Telegraph today. So again, they're, oh, the military's taken over and their training manuals are gun owners, conservatives, libertarians, patriots, people like that. Folks that, folks that are informed. And then we go through all this information. Now Al-Qaeda is being given Libya. Now they're going to be given all the other countries. And here's the Infowars.com article. Al-Qaeda terrorist airlifted from Libya to aid Syrian opposition. Weapons and fighters sent to support overthrow of President Assad. Now, continuing here, uh, here's the London Telegraph. Leading Libyan Islamists met Free Syrian Army Opposition Group and buried in the article, they admit all of this, and we have the quotes. Oh, but wait, there's more. Then we have the Digital Journal article, Libyan ex-Islamic terror leader heads Tripoli Military Council. And we've got all the quotes there. The main, as we told you six months ago, I guess now seven, the main group out of the East funded by the West is true Al-Qaeda, who gave interviews, many of them, bragging, yeah, I've killed Americans in Iraq, and I'll go back to killing them as soon as we take this country. This is what is so insane. I, I'm supposedly got to let the TSA fondle my daughters and son because Al-Qaeda's hiding under every table, but then they get the underwear bomber on the plane, the shoe bomber on the plane, all on record. And we're all the Lockheeds hanging out at the Pentagon until they kill the U.S. citizen in a drone attack, but they never hurt citizens, they just kill them. All of this is a total criminal red terror style takeover. And now they're getting ready to use the military on the American people. Absolutely unbelievable. So I want you to get this video, prisonplanet.tv viewers, InfoWars Nightly News subscribers. And I want you to get it once we, it's posted all over the four winds of the web and send it to all your good old boy buddies. They're like, I just don't get how 9-11 could be an inside job. I, I just don't get how, you mean the government would attack itself? Yeah, Hitler blew up his own Capitol building to take over after he was already elected president. And then he became chancellor and the whole, and combined the two to be Fuhrer. They had an upper and lower system in their parliament. He just became both, chancellor and president. Hitler was elected, but to the lower house. And he blew up the Capitol and said, the commies did it and rounded everybody up. You know, Hitler, you know about that? You know about Gulf of Tonkin and all this? You, you just can't understand it? No, you're too scared to admit it. You know it's true, okay? You're like, well, then Al-Qaeda's good? No, I didn't say that. I explained their history, where they come from. Brzezinski's written two books about it, bragging how the CIA created it in 79. Wake up. You, do you understand they're going to use this phony threat to fully butcher this country, take your pension funds, everything? It's already beginning. 
Do you get it? They're not going to stop. They've got re-education camps built. The Emergency Centers Establishment Act, they're now admitting they want to use the military against you. The, the manuals are all for the American people. It's not for Al-Qaeda, even though it's fun to get scared of them. I understand. I know it's fun.